anymore. All these walls you're putting up. You have been sent to be hanged by the neck until They'll you are dead. They'll come tumbling down one day. You here to see Damn it through? You I admire Otis that, Skinner. mister. So named. You want to get this a one out of the way member quick. of the despicable Skinner gang. Dirty son of a b Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. And we're live. Welcome back to part 41 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in Epilogue 2. And it looks like Rachel has learned a new trick. She is eager to show it off. And John says, knock it off. It looks dangerous. I'm your friendly neighbor, Super Antonio, and please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Fine Philly. John was on his way home when he saw another camp. And he has a dapple gray thoroughbred. Quality horse, my friend. Let's go ask him about it. You ain't supposed to be here. I mean no harm. I'm just a visitor. I said go. Go! I'm sorry. Didn't realize you didn't like visitors. I'll shoot you like a sick hound. So rude. All John wanted to do was compliment him on his horse, and he had to go and point a gun at us. No! I hate you! I think you're acting hysterical. What does he have? God, help. Assorted biscuits. He can keep them. A nice setup, and the bed is okay. John has seen better, but this is acceptable. And a banjo. I am afraid you're gonna lose that banjo, sir. Actions have consequences. Now that is what I call a proportional response. John is pleased with himself. Let's move on. There's my girl. And back in Blackwater, John wanted to look at some more shoes. John has boots on the brain. All right, stranger. Partner. Sir! You insane? Hey, lady! How do you do? We need to shave, however. Hi there. Come on in. So what'll it be today? John favors the Spartan. Mighty fine if I do say so. Well, I guess we're all done here. Don't want you. Here. Stay, girl. Sir! 
Hello? And we always have time to take in another hanging. We are all here today to, to see you. some justice be served. Blackwater will not tolerate the horrors of the Skinners anymore. All these walls you're putting up. You have been sentenced to be hanged to by the neck until They'll you are dead. They'll come tumbling down one day. You here to see Damn it through? You I admire Otis that, Skinner. mister. So named. You want to get this a one out of the way? Proud member quick. of the despicable Skinner gang. Dirty son of a beast. Terrorized and murdered. Otis Skinner, unrepentant to the end. His heinous and callous actions have scarred this community. Your Hello plan? there. The time is at the end. shops ain't gonna. And not a minute stop too soon. Dying. It's time on a for ground. you to hang. Enough talking. Let's pull the lever. Okay. This is a proud day for Blackwater. We can all sleep a little bit safer tonight. Another Skinner is no more. I promise we won't rest until every last one of them is gone. Justice sure looks satisfying today. Hanging seems too light for these Skinners. But justice is impersonal. For better or worse. Hello, girl. What in the hell? Let's go to the tailors. Heard the preacher say, Good God. Hey, partner. Hello, come on in. And note this fabric scrap on the counter. Looks like he was making a shirt. They did enjoy their plaids in the Old West. Everything you need and more in there. And you know, today of all days, we have time to read the catalog. Wheeler, Rawson and Company, Boots Department. We are the leader in shoes, boots, and rubbers. Too many men expect a kangaroo or fine calf shoe to service them as well as a plow shoe. This is an absurd notion. A thin shoe shouldn't be expected to perform the same service as one intended for rough wear either on street or in saddle. We offer elegance and perfection in fine footwear, such as child's kid button, ball bearing bicycle shoes, riding boots, ladies watonga boots, homestead boots, ladies opera slippers, and ladies beaver congress shoes. Additionally, we carry a line of corn cure shoes that alleviate the suffering inflicted by many footwear that cramps feet and does not allow them to lie in their natural shape, instead forming painful corns and ingrown nails. Your local shoe dealer is likely selling you factory seconds, which are an inferior quality of goods, so that they may reap a tidy profit while you wear uncomfortable low-grade goods like some indigent alms person. Upon realizing this, when you call on their shop, you will correctly decipher their warm smile as nothing more than an exultic, bombastic smirk, similar to that of a wolf licking its lips as a ewe wanders into its den. We realize that it is more convenient to purchase boots from a local dealer in town rather than wait several weeks for your order to arrive by coach freight. However, the few cents you save over time adds up. We would like to offer our thanks to our delightful patrons for their liberal patronage and loyalty. Do not put your shoes on the stove, nor on the steam pipe or register. If they are damp, dry them in front of a fire or near a wood-burning kitchen stove. Leather can burn, even when wet. Every pair warranted. Good to know. Let's see what's on offer. Here are the riding boots for the classic equestrian. Very sleek and a variety of colors. John can do better. And the tornado boots. Really like the contrasting stitching, though I wish the design was more elaborate on the uppers. 
I do like them in light brown. Again, that would work for Arthur's new Austin outfit. And then these sportsmen, which looks to me like a hybrid shoe boot. Very dressy, perhaps a bit too dressy. I mean, this ain't Saint Denis. And the button low shoes, actual shoes. Abigail will probably make us buy a pair of these at some point. The preacher's boots. Don't see the point of canvas uppers. I suppose they are more comfortable in warmer climes. Wingtip gaiters, more shoes. John will pass. Let me know what I can do to help you leave here feeling good and looking great. And the preacher's pride boots, full leather. Very minimal in terms of stitching, however. The workman's boots, are those suede uppers? Deluxe quick draw, now this is what I like for stitching. However, note how the uppers are fancy and the toes are quite plain. Please peruse at your leisure. I carry only the finest items. The relentless boots, looks like they have some gaiter on the lowers and great stitching on the uppers. Moving on to the grinder boots with metal studs. Perhaps a little too fancy for John. Old West boots. Nothing special as far as boots go, and not really evocative of the Old West to me. Moving on to the grinder boots with metal studs. Perhaps a little too fancy for John. The cavalry boots. I like how they flare up towards the knee. The classic preacher's boots with more elaborate stitching. And the English preacher's boots. Just how many boots do these preachers need? And the hunting fowler boots, which I suppose are a slight upgrade from the ropers. And finally, the deluxe relentless boots, the most expensive and fanciest boots on offer. I always liked those steel toes. Those have to come in handy in a fight. All right then, but if there was anything in there that caught your eye, it'll be right here waiting for you. Hey now, you cannot be over there. Well, John has some thinking to do now, and he can finally swap out these pants for his regular outfit. Get away from there now. Don't worry about it. That's better. Let's move on. You know what to do, girl. All right. Partner. And back in Tall Trees and Manzanita Post, John wanted to say hello to the Husky, but he's not feeling very friendly today. Unsure what John did wrong. Morning to you. Good morning to you. Checking the map, we need to go. 
right about here. Evelyn Miller wants to talk to us. Girl, you ain't like this. And welcome to Tall Trees. Threats on the left and a cry for help on the right. Where are they? What's that? Something ain't right. Here we go. Oh, God damn it. Who goes there? I can't hardly see. A survivor. He doesn't look too good. They might be close. They came in the night. Sorry, Mister John. Thought you were already dead. Screams. <laughs> Something off. It's all right. You're all right. They're all gone. Just go to sleep now. Oh. 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 You there? You there? I, I, I'm coming. Okay, now he's really dead. We listened to his last words and we cannot bury him. Let's move on. You got this, girl. And here's Evelyn Miller. Like all writers, he has a lot to say. My, my, the reticent cowboy. Hello. I, you never told me your name. Jim. No. John Marston. Which? John Marston. Long story. I'm a writer. I love stories. Ah, <laughs> uh, another time. Guess I'm as big a fraud as you claim to be. I'm trying, John. My wife didn't understand. Doesn't understand. The parish priest has taken to writing me missives about the exact nature of my sins. The parish priest! Can you imagine? Oh, what a petty-minded lot they are. I was attracted by my fraudulent fame, by the idea of me as some kind of provincial seer. Oh, makes me sick. But here, I live like a man. I'm feeble, but alive. <laughs> I'm a man! For the first time in my life, I'm a man. Okay. Or, I'm still a coward, but a real man would happily die rather than live as I do. Uh, I don't know about that. We, <laughs> we're all scared of something. Something within us. But me, I'm nothing but fear. Fear and doubt and lies. Just a glimpse of how other men have coped and lived. I like how John looks in this doorway. Let's use this for the thumbnail in the Instagram. Link in the description if you'd like to follow, in addition to links for the merch store, my second channel, which features more podcast-related content, and our Discord. And survived and flourished. 
There are days when I sit here and weep about all the things that I've lost. We've lost. We true Americans. We peasants. We are killing this place, John Marston. Killing what? This. This great beauty. This truth. What are you talking about? Come. Let me show you. Where are we headed? Prepare to be shocked. Come along. Follow me. Unless you're showing me Bigfoot, you should know. <laughs> I'm not so easily shocked, Mr. Miller. But you will be. Wait until you see the waste. The boundless appetites of these men. I know you will be horribly shocked because I see that frontier spirit in you. The self-reliance. The harmony with nature that us, us modern men, have so lamentably lost. I hate to spoil your impression of me, but I've been known to eat from a cake. Oh no! Up there! The poor creature is caught in a bear trap. John, can you do something? Uh, let me see. The cruelty of it. If you could pry it open, it may recover. Stay calm. Okay, we have to free this elk. Shouldn't be a problem. Out of this. Those contraptions. They are unforgiving and indiscriminate. You did it! It's free! A second chance at life. Maybe. As long as that wound don't go bad. Still, better to die free than the jaws of a machine. Now, come on. We have further to ride. The men I'd like to show you, they could have set that trap. Hunters? I've seen hunters, sir, and like I said, I've been one myself. Hunting for food or skins is one thing, but dredging rivers, burning out forests, killing everything you find, and leaving all but the most valuable parts to rot, that is who these men are. They are the rapaciousness of our financial markets let loose in the wilderness. A sign that our way of life has come to an end. Look, here they are. I will speak to them. Are you sure that's a good idea? Probably not the best idea confronting these hunters. You men are heathens! Ignoble savages! Animals! Shit, look! Look at what What's you... What's your problem? You... 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 Shit! Hey! Huh? What? And I guess today's workout involves a little sparring and working on the heavy bag. Lucky you just getting beat. I had worse. Oh dear. Oh. John is a mess, but he got the job done. <laughs> oh, that, that was clarity, John. <laughs> this, this place, this, this heaven and hell, the duality. I think you got hit on the head. Come on, let's get you out of here before more of them show up. But I think we've made our point. Now, come on, let's go. And I guess that's it for Evelyn. Let's check out the camp. John is hearing wolves. Are you hearing wolves? A classic lean-to, but what John would call a slovenly, unkempt camp. John is not impressed. Let's shoot all of those frying pans down. Oddly satisfying. And look at this giant pile of hides.
and I know we heard wolves, here they come. The Evans is the completely wrong weapon for the job, but it's what we have. And then we shall fire bottle those hides so they do not benefit from their ill gotten gains. We didn't need these skins, but we shall take the hearts. Wish we could cook them up and eat them, and swallow the spirit of the wolf. And one of those hunters had this Norwegian newspaper scrap. Thanks to Reddit, we have a handy translation. Horrible murders in Lingdal, or perhaps gruesome murders in Lingdal. A man, a woman, and a child was found beaten and stabbed to death in the forest behind Ostad yesterday morning. It is said that the man was originally from Tangier in French North Africa, and the woman was part of a religious community that lived on a farm by Korsham. The child was no more than two years old. The rest of the small community, according to locals, has mostly lived an unobtrusive lifestyle and has now vanished into thin air, and the police are now encouraging everyone with information regarding the whereabouts of the community to contact them as soon as possible. Is this a reference to something from Red Dead 1, I wonder? Or is it somehow related to the missing Princess Isabeau? It is a Red Dead mystery. John is confused. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. John loves Bigfoot, but absolutely hates tall trees. On Mondays, we Marston. I'll see you in part 42. This video is sponsored by Super Antonio Part 2, my second channel that features more podcast-related content, in addition to gameplay from all of the other video games I enjoy. You can find the link at the bottom of the channel page or in the description of this video. Like and subscribe for short stories, book, movie, and TV reviews, and also commentaries where I talk about whatever is interesting me at the moment. I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I have Appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content, and we shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, never really was.